Welcome back to the next episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today we will be covering the fortress in World 2. This will be a little more interesting because it's our first boom boom fight. So like always, let's jump right in. First things first is we will be following keeping your fire flower, and I intend on teaching you a way I've been doing the fortress for a long time now. If it ends up being too hard, you can always build your peace feed later. Let me just tell you the key to the start of this fortress. You see that last stair? You want to line your feet as close as possible to that stair while landing on the flat ground, so you have as much room as possible to build peace feed. If you touch the stairs, you will not get peace feed early. You do this by running as close to the edge as you can at the start and doing a very small jump. It's okay if you're a couple pixels to the left of the first edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you don't touch the stairs and you land with as much runway as you can. Use the third vertical line as a visual cue to do a small jump over the dry bones. If done correctly, then your P-meter will stay at two bars and start to build once you made it over the dry bones. Next is a little tricky. The visual can mess with you a bit if you're not prepared. You're going to want to run as close as you can to the next dry bones to utilize as much room possible. If you did it really well, then you can build peace speed without running into the dry bones, but most likely you will be doing a side jump into them once you fully build peace speed. Whether you run into them or not, once you build your peace speed, do a little jump to land on the two horizontal blocks that the thwomp crashes on. The second horizontal block is where you're going to want to do a full big jump onto the half pyramid looking thing, getting you right over the dry bone. Do a medium jump to once again land on the space where the thwomp crashes down on and simply run off it. You'll just keep P speed anyways, so no need to jump or make it complicated. As soon as you land, jump right away over the dry bones to the ledge leading to the pipe and once again jump while holding up to go directly up into the pipe. Once out of the pipe, hold forward slightly before doing a small jump to keep P-speed. And when you land on the ground, do a medium jump onto the five gray blocks. And from the last block, do any kind of jump you want, just don't do a full big jump because the boo will hit you. Once you land, just keep on running till you hit the door and be ready to press up. The other side of the door, you'll just stand and wait for a cycle, and once you have a clear path, start running to build peace speed. When acquired, do a body rub into the third section of spikes while jumping to get up on the block. If you need help with another example of the body rub jump, go to World 2 Level 1 for another example. Also, the body rub jump in this spike room is a full big jump. From that first block, do a medium jump to the last block of the section and from there do a full big jump right to the door. As long as you get in the door as soon as possible, whatever happens is okay. You don't have to make it look exactly like how I do it. The other side of the door is the boom boom room, and once you enter his chambers, you'll want to shoot two fireballs right away, and of course start holding forward and run. Once you hit the invisible barrier to load the boss fight, hold forward and jump on him while shooting two fireballs. As you bounce on him, turn around and shoot your last fireball. The fight is really easy to get used to, and he only takes 5 shots. Unfortunately, I can't teach you how to grab the orb perfectly. There is actually no visual cue or audio cue. You'll just have to get used to the time it takes for the orb to pop out. Most of the time, you will hear the boom boom explode and then, by reaction, you'll jump. Missing the orb won't even cost you a second, so take your time getting used to this timing. World 2 Fortress is the last level that differs from early hammer route. Most of it is the same till you hit the spike room. This change is interesting. Much like exiting the pipe by holding forward a bit to keep P-speed, we do the same thing with the door exit. Notice in the spike room I run forward a bit before damage boosting. Nah, I didn't keep my P-speed, which is perfectly normal, but if you look, my P-meter didn't go down either, allowing me to rebuild it again before I get hit. You jump from the second spike section to the last same block we use with Fire Flower. And from here to the end is the same. Only difference is you stomp on the boom boom and you get to try swaggy ass wall jump.
So this is the reason we take damage in the last two levels while doing them super fast. Dying on the fire snake as small Mario is faster than running into the pit or standing there taking two sets of damage. Plus, if we are dying, we might as well find a way to do the levels as fast as possible while setting up for early hammer. That's all I have for this level. Thanks for watching episode 9. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to tap that subscribe button to know when episode 10 comes out. We will be doing world 2 level 3. Thanks all. See ya.